Hey, what's up, bums? Welcome back. Guess what? It's the 2016 season. It's already here. It's almost like it was just a couple weeks ago we were talking about the Denver Broncos winning the Super Bowl. I'm your host, The Bum. You can find me on Twitter at Bums Blitz. Also, you can find my blog post at BumsBlitz.com. Let's get right into it. All right, so let's kick it off talking about the Tennessee Titans. I know they're not the sexiest team. I know that in years past, they haven't been that fun to talk about. But this year, they've made a couple moves to start off the season that have made them a lot more interesting to me. Now, they've added DeMarco Murray, and they've added Richard Matthews on offense. With Richard uh, Matthews, they have Harry Douglas, they have Green Beckham, and they have Kendall Wright, which gives them four pretty talented wide receivers. Now... The obvious statement to make is, can Mariota get them the ball? Can he not make mistakes? Can he step up from his rookie season? I think he can. Now, I'm definitely not going to reach for Mariota because I think that there's still some risk with him. He's still a running quarterback, and I like to play it a little bit more safe. Now, even if Mariota does take a step forward this year, the question for me will be which wide receiver in Tennessee takes the bigger step forward, the, guy, the one that will be the guy. I don't know that yet. Now, if you're talking about PPR, I think Kendall Wright, out of all those guys, is probably the safest bet. He's been consistent each and every year. The only drawback for him is that he's had some injury issues. Now, a Hail Mary shot, if you're playing something like Standard, is Green Beckham. Now he's a huge guy. They have a lot of faith in him. They want him to do well and he could be a guy that physically dominates the game. Now me being a Falcons fan, I am sort of partial to Harry Douglas. Harry Douglas has shown in the past that when he is the guy that he could put up numbers. Julio and Roddy have been hurt in the years past and he's had to step up and put up some, put up some yards. He has. He's had multiple 100-yard games. The trade for DeMarco Murray shows that they really want to run the ball. I think it also shows that they don't want Mariota just hurling the ball all over the field. They want a consistent run game. I don't think that DeMarco Murray will be the guy he was in Dallas in 2014. I just don't think that Tennessee has the same kind of O-line that Dallas had. And I, don't, I also don't trust that he could stay healthy for a full 16 games when he's going to have to fight for the yards more than he did in Dallas. Don't get me wrong, he's a good running back, and I think that he could have a good year. But I'm not touching him in the first or second round. It's just not my style. I am a little bit on the safe side when it comes to drafting, and I really think that the risk of him getting hurt outweighs you know, picking him in the first round. So far, we've talked about the quarterback, the wide receivers, and the running back. Now it's time that I get to talk about my favorite Tennessee Titan, Delaney Walker. Now, he's been the go-to guy in Tennessee for the last two years. He's put up great numbers, he's always been solid, and it usually is a shock to most people. He, he's a guy that you've been able to get off the waiver wires in the last two seasons. For me, he's a guy that I want to start, especially this year. With the addition of DeMarco Murray, the linebackers of the opposing team won't be able to double-team him or really focus on him as much. They'll have to honor the run and make tackles. With the addition of the wide receivers, or the wide receivers getting better and uh, Mariota getting better, he will also have focus taken off of him uh, from the DBs. This could only increase the chances of him getting open and putting up monster numbers. I really like Delaney Walker and if you could get him late, great. If you have to reach for him, I don't even mind because the tier of tight ends where he's at, I think he's at the top of that third tier where there's about 10 tight ends that could be number 5 to number 15. Uh, I really think he's a great value. I think that if you get him, you'll play him each and every week. All right, that's all I got for you guys this week. I know it turned into a big Tennessee Titans video. I didn't really plan for it to go that way, but they made a few moves, and I was really interested in talking about the cause and effect of the moves, and it turned into a whole video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself. I hope you got a little something out of it. The videos will get better as we go. This is really the first football video that I have done so far. Hopefully you enjoyed it enough to subscribe, or retweet. Remember, you could always tweet me at bumsblitz. 
You could read my blog at bumsblitz.com. I have a Facebook page. It's also Bums Blitz. I make, I make it really easy for you guys. So retweet, share, whatever you guys want to do, help out. Try to get the subscribers going. The more people I get, the more input I get, and the better these videos will become. All right, so for now, I'm just going to say goodbye. My name is The Bum. Remember, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.